The concept of efficiency works like this. Any event has, the idea goes, a series of consequences. Some of those consequences are good. Those are called benefits from the event. Some of the consequences that flow from the event are argued to be costs. With this idea, efficiency is calculated as follows. You measure the consequences that are good from an event, the benefits, and then you measure the consequences that flow from this event that are bad, the costs. Here comes the fun part. If the added number of benefits exceeds the added number of costs, you've got an efficient activity. It is a net benefit for us as a community. Isn't that nice? And then, of course, you can compare two events. Event A, costs and benefits. Event B, costs and benefits. And if the difference between the benefits and the events of, of, of action A is bigger than action B, don't do B, do A. What's the problem with this idea? Well, I'm going to just put on a different hat. I'm normally an economist, but for a moment I'm going to become a mathematician. Mathematically, what I just said is absurd. And let me show you why. One, how many consequences flow from any event? Answer, you have no idea. It's infinite. It's not only infinite in number, it's infinite in time. You don't know what the consequences are. Some of them won't happen for 10 years. Some of them will happen in a place you didn't look. Nobody knows what all the consequences of any event are. Consequences are always surprising. So the notion that we can have someone who measured all the consequences is absurd because if there are infinite consequences of anything, infinity, that's the concept in mathematics, means you can't measure it. That's really all it means. But it's worse. It's worse. Let's go back. What did I say? I said an event has consequences and you measure the good ones and the bad ones. Here's your problem, friends. The consequences of an event are always the consequences of other events as well. You can't do that. You can't say X happened, then Y happened, and Y happened because X did. Mm -mm. You can't know that. Y happened because lots of things did. There's no way to allo allocate the effect X from the cause Y because too many other things are going on. How many other things are going on? An infinity of other things are going on. You'd have to know what all of their impacts were on the thing you're measuring in order to be able to isolate the effect of what you're measuring. You can't do that. <coughs> the idea of, of efficiency is a mirage. It doesn't exist. It's a mathematical zero set. There's nothing in it. It is mathematical zilch. But the idea was brilliant. Why? Because instead of understanding the world as a place of struggle, where we, we want these things to happen and those people want those things to happen, and we kind of deal with why we have these differences and what's at stake in our struggle, we get rid of all of that. We resolve the struggle by measuring in a way that everybody has to bend down to the efficiency of something. So we should all support X because it's the most efficient way to go. Efficiency is a method of browbeating your political and ideological adversary into believing that there is a final resolution to your debate, an absolute truth that all of your disagreements have to bow down to.